Welcome back to the Poker Cave. Today we have a PSA card to returns that has literally been sitting around for over one year. I sent these cards out over one year ago and I'm finally getting them back today. So let's see the grades that we got. All right, Poker Cave. So they come in these little boxes like this. None of them are marked, but I have four of them here. So I cut them open. I haven't looked at anything yet, but I know there's some old school stuff in these and pretty much all of them are going to be vintage cards. I know there's at least a couple of Charizards, so it's going to be a ton of fun. I I haven't done a PSA cards returns in like so long, like six to eight months because we just never get returns back anymore. It just takes so long. But anyway, let's crack into this first one here and see what we got. All right. PSA cards returns. Hopefully we got some good results here. Oh, oh, dude. You see that? You see that? Okay. That means that something went wrong here. And one of these cards, I don't know. We're going to, we're going to see. So I think I want to do this upside down so we can't see the grades. Dude, some, something that was apparently is up with one of those cards that they didn't put it in a slab. That's weird. All right. All right. Let's see what our first card is of our PSA cards return. We have an X and Y. Nice promo clash camera up from the year 2015. This is a floor. I'm pretty sure I probably pulled like 90% of the cards out of here. A mint nine. All right, cool. We'll take a nine on this one. So pretty solid card overall. And actually... Yeah, these cases, they're, they're looking pretty good. I see like the little PSA logos kind of back there, like kind of like watermarked in the background there for security purposes and stuff. But all right, first card, I really want to know what that is. Cause like, I don't know, that just seems weird. Cause I, I, I gotta say like most of these cards I had to have pulled myself. So it's kind of weird to see that. All right, we got a Buffalot from 2013, Plasma Storm. So this card's like what, eight, eight years old or so? Reverse Buffalot, give me a 10. Oh, we got another nine. All right, two nines in so far. And yeah, you can see with the nines, you can see some whitening on some of the corners, off-centering and stuff like that. But nines are pretty safe when you pull cards pack fresh. This one has a little speck of whitening at the top there, a little one on the bottom there. And let's get our first, well, this probably be a nine just because of that. Oh, we actually got an eight. Okay. I wonder why this one pulled the eight. Hmm. All right. So that's our first eight. We got two nines and an eight. Let's see what, let's see what else we get out of here. Um, Cole Bailey, another 2013 card from, oh, Legends of Justice box. So this is a... Uh, promo card so you can see on the bottom of there from the black and white era so that's when i opened up those boxes oh we got another nine all right safe nine safe nine that's fine i'm still happy with nines that's still a mint card Terrakion, another promo card from legends of justice box so we got another nine all right we'll just give me a nine set then on those all right we're coming up on that other card soon uh Verizion, same thing promo card another nine all right we got this <laughs> so we got a set. I think it's three. I think it's three promos. So we got a, a PSA 9 set. That's sick. So, like, I'm just going to put this in the collection. All right. Now, we're going to come up on that card down there in a second. I want to know what happened. Ooh, Cresselia level X. Great encounters. Nice. I definitely pulled this card. All right, all right, all right. Here we get our first 10. Front looks pretty solid. It's a little off-centered, but let's see. Let's see. Come on. Oh, another 9. That's fine. Level X cards are pretty difficult to find right now. Cresselia level X. All right, so here's a moment of truth right now. Uh, this is kind of wacky because I definitely pulled all this stuff. So if they say there's some kind of like issue with it, like, I don't know. They only won't grade a card if it looks like it was like tampered with or like recolored or something weird happened to it. But like, okay, this, no, this is, this is, this is weird. This is weird because I know I definitely probably pulled. Oh, what? No grade, no charge. Returned movie edition 2000 tops. Why wouldn't you grade it for me? That's really weird. They, did, they don't even have a reason. No grade, no holder. Um, N9. What does that mean? Wait, let me look that up. N9. Alright, so I looked that up. Basically what it means is the card is like obscure or oversized and I guess like for fitting it into a case or something it doesn't fit properly. I could have swore I've seen these graded before, but I could be wrong. I really wanted to get this card graded, but if you guys don't know what this is, it's basically a, this is like an actual strip of film from Pokemon the Movie 2000. It's like a really good chase card that you can pull, and they're all, I think, 100% unique because they just cut up, a, you know, like the entire movie's film strip and put it in here. So, like, each one, I think, is completely unique of a card, which is actually insane. But, like, I guess... That's kind of, I don't know, it's weird because they should be the same size as the other Tops cards with the, which they grade. I feel like this card could be graded. I could be wrong. Let me know if you've ever seen these graded before. That's kind of a bummer, but all right. I get it. I get it. Next one. Oh, the Darkrai Level X. Let's go. More grade encounters. Come on. Give us our first 10. 
Centering on this one's definitely off a bit, so we might have another nine. Oh my god, I spoke too soon. What happened to you? Oh no. Oh, okay, maybe I, I didn't pull this card. You can see there's like whitening on the edges. Oh, actually, I remember. I think I got this from a really big collection. I never sent it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't pull this one. That one's a seven. PSA seven. All right. Oh, no. What is this? You guys see that? Yo, what was I doing? Look at this. There's like a roller mark going across this whole back of this card. Oh, no. This is going to be like a six at the best. Mega Steelix EX from Steam Siege 2016. Oh, it's a four. <laughs> Look at that. You can see it going through it. It has a roller mark. I don't remember if that was there or not. I really can't comment on that. I really don't think I would have missed it. But I also, at the same time, I know I was probably just sending out a bunch of cards just because I wanted to get some stuff graded. And this is back when this was like probably like, what, $7, $8 a card. So we got a uh, 2010 Harkle Tall Silver. All right, Unleashed Rare Candy Reverse. I definitely pulled this one. So let's see. A nine on that one as well. I'll take nines all day. I'll take nines, at least nines. Seedra uh, Reverse, all right. And this is from the year 2003. This is, oh man. All right, let's go. Another PSA 9. That's a cool artwork. That's a cool artwork. Old stuff is definitely worth sending through. Natsu from Unleashed, Harkold Soul Silver. PSA 9, all right. All right, let's crack another box. Now, I know there's a bunch of stuff from base set. Um, I'm trying to think. I know I got upcharged too, so PSA will actually upcharge you on your cards if you have cards that are worth more than what the tier sort of is for that. And there are some big upcharges, so there's gotta be some really big cards in here. Let's see what we get. All right, we're gonna start with the stack. Oh, we got a nice first edition Pikachu um, Black Star promo, and it is a PSA nine, we'll take it. All right, another nine. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo, I uh, I don't know what I was thinking. So I, I this is me from the future. I, can, I went back and I forgot, I purchased this card raw off of ebay probably like a year and a half ago now this is the error version of this card or it's sort of like supposed to be like the secret rare or the secret rare that nobody really knew if pokemon actually put it in there on purpose or not but basically you'd pull this card out of a first edition jungle booster box it's not even in the set but it has the first edition stamp which is crazy it didn't, people don't know if it was supposed to be there or not but i've never pulled one ever in my life but i did buy one raw and this one came back as a nine, which is crazy. Um, and this actually is worth two thousand dollars. The last three that sold, it's a really, really rare card. And um, yeah, so that's just an update. Like I, I, I just wasn't even thinking. It's been so long since I've seen these cards. Next up, oh, miscut Gyarados. Let's go, yo. My buddy Ben sent this over to me. That was so long ago, dude. All right, let's get a miscut, baby. Oh, we got the OC. They wouldn't give us a miscut on it. Really? They were like, nah, it's not a miscut. Sorry, we'll give you OC. That's cool, though. I love this card. Thank you so much, Ben, for sending this over, man. You did not have to do that. That's definitely going right into the collection. The OC cards are always sick to uh, collect. Would have been cool if I had a little MC on there, but it got the OC, which is fine. Oh, another OC card. I definitely pulled this one as well from Team Up 2019, and we got nice the OC grade on that one. I tend to put OC or miscut cards together just so they can, like, uh, I don't know, at least realize, like, that they're all kind of OC, and that's what I'm going for on them. We got a nine on that one. Nice. All right, let's go. Pidgeot. Yo, Gem Mint 10. That's crazy. That is ridiculous. All right. Gem Mint 10. That's our first 10. Let's keep rolling. Fable. All right, another Jungle First Edition. This one's a nine. That's solid. Dodrio First Edition from Jungle. Pulling the nine as well. Ooh. All right, all right. I know I, it's like they didn't mark these cartons one through four because i have four of them they usually mark them so i know where this the sub started so this is like we're just going all over the place right now but i know there's a ton of hollows in there we got a nine from marowak so it's just going to get crazier as we keep going meowth as well oh we got a 10 on that one dude that's crazy and you can see like on the back here you can get tens with whitening that has a little speck down there um and then the front looks pretty good actually the centering looks really good on that one all right we got a ninoran Another 10 from Jungle First Edition. Woo! Pikachu. All right, this could be big. This could be big. Let's see what we got. Oh, this one's a nine. That's still pretty solid, honestly. Nine on Jungle First Edition Pikachu. We got a, another First Edition Jungle card to execute. All right, nice, nice, nice. We got another 10. Just rolling in the 10. Non hollows are definitely a lot easier to grade than hollows just because you don't have to worry about the hollow pattern getting scratches or anything like that and then as i say that we pull a six every time i say something optimistic that's what happens oh there's a bend right there 
don't know if you guys can see that. See right there? Anytime you have a bend on a card, it just drops it automatically to at least down to a six. Could go lower depending on if there's anything else going on with it. Oddish got a nine, first edition. These are all first edition jungle. Eevee jungle first edition. Gem mid 10. That's huge. That is a huge hit. Oh, another Eevee. A nine on this one. All right, we got a nine and a 10 on the Eevees. Oh, Kabutops. Let's go. Fossil Unlimited. All right, there's definitely print lines on this one. This is an eight. All right. We'll take an eight. We'll take an eight. Lapras Fossil now unlimited. Pulling a seven on this yes. one. Hitmonlee Fossil. Pulling the eight on that one. All right, we're on to our third box now out of four. And let's see where we're at here in the submission. Oh, we got the buck from Fossil. All right. And that's a nine. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Dude, actually doing really good for childhood cards right now. Um, I mean, these were like coming back nines and eights and nines and stuff like that. That's really good. My childhood cards would be like one, two, threes, and fours. But oh, look at that. See this one? This has like a really big crease on the back here. It must be a good, it must be a really good card because it's like pretty beat up. But like, why else would we send it? Kangaskhan, okay. Oh, and the five on that one. So when, when these cards were sent in too, the other thing was the market was definitely going like a lot crazier than it is now price wise. So like that kind of stuff was definitely still worth um, sending in. And just also because, um, I mean, it was really cheap to send cards in back then too. And it's childhood collection cards, so makes it even better. We got a Snorlax from Jungle pulling the seven on that one. All right. Gyarados from base set. All right. We got a six. Six on that. And, like, this is, like, classic, like, you know, childhood card stuff you have going on here. Like, edge wear and stuff like that. Which is normal, you know. So the back of this one actually looks really good. And I'm actually curious what this card could be. Clefairy. Okay, randomly this Clefairy is looking pretty good. And we got a nine. Ooh, that's really nice. And the back on this one's definitely got a bunch of wear. So let's see. Hitmonchan. This might be something like a six. Ooh, five. Okay. Five on that one. And another Hitmonchan. How's the back of this? Same thing. Got some stuff going on all over it. So it could be like five, six, nine. Hold up. They give this a nine? Whoa. With that, I'm actually pretty surprised. Check that out. On that top corner or top edge there, that is like some serious damage. But I guess that's the only spot, so maybe that's why they let it fly. But I would probably see this one at like an 8 at best because of that. Howl's pretty solid, though. Hmm. That's interesting. That big mark up there. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Zapdos from base. We got an 8 on that one. That's solid. I think we're going to come up on a Charizard here any second, hopefully. Another Zapdos. This one's from Fossil, though. If you guys didn't know, the Zapdos from Fossil has this little evolution box error going on there. So, like, that was... It's a big error. Basically, it's on all those. We got an 8 on that one, though. Ooh, there we go, Charizard. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, okay, okay. Let me look at the back. All right, we have a little spec up there. Another little spec up there. Um, okay, that's not that bad, though. That's really not that bad. This could be big. This could be big. Centering's pretty solid. Tiny bit off top to bottom. How's our hollow? Hollow surprisingly looks pretty solid. I might be seeing some scratches. It's hard to tell in this case. Oh yeah, this see right there. There's actually some right there. I'm gonna say I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna go with an eight. All right, let's see. Oh, it is an eight, yo. That's pretty solid, man. That's a childhood Charizard pull right there. Pulled it in 1999. All these years later, coming back an eight. That's really good. I just quickly checked the pricing on these. It looks like these are going for around $550 to $600, but like, I would definitely not sell this. If this is the card that I pulled as a kid, there's no way I'll be selling this one. All right, let's see. And the next one, I think this actually is going to be another Charizard. I remember he had two, and I think I put them together. But like right there immediately, you see all that? That's going to drop it down pretty, pretty low, I would assume. But, and then, okay, our centering's off quite a bit. Let's see. This one's okay. So this is definitely the one that got played like quite, quite a lot. I would say. Uh, you might be looking on this one. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess a six on this one. Oh, five. Okay, pretty, pretty close, pretty close. PSA five on this Charizard though. All right, solid. Still like a 250 to 300 dollar card, but again, like this, this is too many memories. You know, that's a tough one. That'd be a tough one to let go of. All right. And we have Blastoise. Ooh, okay, okay. Let me go back again. This is a Blastoise. Let's check it out. Um, okay, edge, edge wear on the top a bit. On that edge, too. 
quite a lot actually let's see got some stuff going on in the hollow I don't know what that is some sort of like whatever you know when you're a kid you don't know maybe you're eating some Cheetos something like that a little, little salt on there um all right centering's pretty solid though I might put this at like a maybe a six Oh, a four. Okay, that really messed it up. Because I was actually trying to figure out what that would do to the grade. Whatever's happening on that hollow probably really pulled it down. That's because that's pretty heavy wear on that hollow. It's like weird though. It's like white specs. But yeah, looks like we got a four on the Blastoise. Next card out here. Okay. Not too bad on the back. Oh, it's another. Okay, it's a redemption round. Let's see. It looks like he had like one really beat version and then like a really clean one like the Charizard. Or a pretty clean one anyway. So scratches on that a little bit. Not not anywhere near bad as the other one. Centering's actually really solid. And the back only has a little bit of whitening. This might be an eight. This might be an eight, honestly. Let's see. Oh! Whoa! Pulled the nine! Pulled the nine! That's pretty crazy. Yo, childhood blastoise with a PSA 9 is actually insane. This is like a five hundred dollar card still. Wow. That's crazy. Dang. Venusaur? Mewtwo. Okay, left to right's definitely off a lot. That's like probably PSA 8 centering, I would say. And then the back has some stuff going on. Quite a bit, actually. Hollow on this one. Looks pretty clean. Wow, that's actually pretty, pretty clean. This might snag the 8, but it could also probably snag a 7. Okay, it is a 7. Nice. 7 on the Mewtwo. And then we got Alakazam. Okay. Alakazam looks actually pretty solid on the front. Not really too scratched up or anything like that. And the back actually looks really good. Dude, wait, hold up. This is actually really nice. Let me see. Let me see. Ooh, dude. You might, do we have a shot at 10 on this? That would be ridiculous. A, a hollow childhood card coming back at 10. That's like unheard of. Dude. All right. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to say this could be the 10. It's either a 9 or a 10. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just go for a 10. Come on, 10. What? Why is it a 6? We missed something? Oh, there's gotta be a bend in it. That is literally the only reason. Bro. Bro. Maybe that corner up there has a bend? Like a little bit? Oh, wait. Oh, is that it? It's really hard to see in this lighting, but yeah, I mean, there's got to be some kind of crease on here. If you guys see it, let me know in the comment section. I'll quickly go through like this real fast if you guys want to try to pause it and look around. Get the light going across it. It's hard to see uh, at my angle. I think it might be that corner, maybe there somewhere. But yeah, there's got to be a crease on that. Dude, that was literally a shot. At, that had to have been a shot at a 10. All right, <laughs> so we got another card though. that looks really nice. A little couple specks of whitening. Oh, Venusaur. Okay. Let's see. I think I remember there were some scratches on this when I sent it. Yeah, a little bit. Um, let's see. Could pull a 9. I think it might be an 8, though. It could be a 9. 8 or 9. 9! Nice! 9 on the Venusaur and the Blastoise and the 8 on the Charizard. All three. The Charizard with the 8 and then the Blastoise and the Venusaur with the 9. That's crazy. And the Venusaur and a 9, so like a $300 card. But again, I don't know. Alright, so what is this? We got a Japanese card here. Um, it looks good on the back. Ooh, oh, this is for my buddy. TCD Revival. Okay, this was pulled during a live stream. It looks like it's a little off-center though. It might be like an 8 or a 9. Let's see. It might be like a 9, I think. <laughs> I mean, we'll take it, but like that. I mean, you can uh, clearly see the left to right is off quite a bit, and in my opinion, um, too off to be a PSA 10 centering just by eyeing it up. But I mean, yo, that's a 10, I guess. Ampharos Aquapolis, ready? Gem it 10. Whoa, whoa, this is when we opened Aquapolis. We only opened up a booster box of Aquapolis one time. Look how clean the E-Series cards are super nice. Dang. Woo! Hoo, hoo, hoo. I just looked the price up on this. 
All right, so the last two sales for this card. The last one, December 13th, went for $3,650. And then the sale before that in October went for $5,891.54. So that is a card worth thousands. There's only 22 of these that exist in a PSA 10. So yeah, PSA upcharge, just I think a $200 upcharge because of that. That's something they started doing like a year or two ago. But, I mean, when you get the email, you at least know you got some crazy cards coming back. All right, so this is the final box of uh, cards that we have in the submission. If you guys enjoy PSA card submission videos, make sure to hit that like button. And let me know in the comment section what your favorite card was in this video so far. And if you'd like to see more of these types of videos and content. And subscribe if you're brand new here. Zatsu! Hardcore Hotel Silver Unleashed. Definitely pulled this card on the channel back in the day. Hope for 10. Ooh, we got an 8. We got an 8. Oh, there's a couple of really big specs of white. Now, that's like too much of a spec to pull the nine i could see why i could see why okay next card oh i remember pulling this one i think i pulled this with jordan fringe that this is so that guy like I, I i pulled this like a year and a half ago maybe almost two years ago close to two years ago you're a serig all right harkle soul silver unleashed this is a prime card hey i'll take a nine on this one solid all right nice nice price on this one if you could Park Hotel Silver Unleashed, your Serig. Yes, a nine. Oh, another prime card. All right, Unleashed again. Give me the 10 on the Steelix. Oh, it's a little off center, though. Probably only a nine at best. A nine. That's fine. I'll take a nine. I love that card. Prime cards, Park Hotel Silver Unleashed. Really nice. Oh, legend card. Bottom half. We pulled this one, too. Yo, okay. Suikun and Entei. If, if I could get a, a 10 on any card, give me this one. I don't think it will, though. See that? Whitening. It's kind of a couple big specs up there and a little there. It might only be an 8 or 9. Oh, we got the 9 at least. So if this were a 10, they go for around 800. It is a 9, though, so it actually drops all the way down to about $130, $140. I think these are actually really good deals for 9 prices, to be honest. I mean, these are two crazy cool of cards. If you see the top half with it, it looks absolutely amazing. And 9s are really good quality cards. Oh, hello, top half of a different card. It's not the, it's not the top half of this one, but yo, this is the uh, the, the Raikou and Suicune. All right, so maybe we will get a Legend card in the 10. We can hope for it. This one looks a little better, but I still am seeing like one, two, three specs on this one. So he might have a nine. Hey, it's a nine. That's cool, though. Oh, top halves are always a little bit better, though, because you get the actual bases and stuff. Wow, so if this were a 10, only 12 exist in a PSA 10 and around 59 in a PSA 9. The 10s, um, there's no price data, but on the 9 on this one, about 100 bucks. Still, yeah, I think that's actually really, that's a really solid price for, I mean, these kind of cards. It's crazy. All right, let's keep going. Hey, Slow King from Neo Genesis. All right, let's see how this one looks. Got a little something going on there, I think. Let's just, let's just see. Oh, an 8 on this one. PSA 8 on the Slow King from Neo Genesis. All right. Oh, Crystal Guardians Blastoise Hollow. Oh, okay, I think my buddy sent me this one, actually. Yeah, TCG Rob, I think, sent me this card. Definitely did. Definitely did. Um, yeah, let's go. Okay, let's check it out. Ready? Oh, near mid-7. Not even bad. I love Blastoise. The Delta Species cards are sick. And another one. All right, let's go. Oh, another seven. All right, two sevens. Yo, these are sick. Oh, and then a Charmander, Fire Red, Leaf Green. Let's go. This is the secret rare. Give us a 10. A nine. Okay, we'll take nine. PSAs, you know, they're not giving out the 10s quite as frequently, but hey, I'm, I'm cool with nines. Legend Maker, Pikachu. Nine, nice. That's another cool card. Ooh, and the Farfetch'd. Okay, another secret rare. This was from Emerald. Come on. Uh, it's probably only a nine best with the centering. Oh, it's an eight. Okay. Farfetch'd. Hollow Farfetch. You don't see that too often. Absol from Magma versus Aqua from the EX era. Come on. Nine. Okay. We'll take it. Take nines. I'm, I'm cool with nines. As long as I'm getting like a bunch of sevens and, and eights and stuff, nines are cool. So we got some more secret rares. So these must be like a ton of just secret rares from these sets. Oh, a nine. Nice. Groudon's always cool to pull. Ooh, the Persian. Rockets Persian from Unseen Forces. Another secret rare from the EX era. All right, let's see. Ooh, a six on this one. It must have like a bend somewhere. All right, we're almost there. We got a couple more. They pour... Oh, I remember. Okay. I opened a three-pack blister. It should be all the evolutions here, but I remember they all had some like bending issues on them because out of those blisters, they just get that. 
But I was like, yo, there's no way I'm not getting these in slabs. I don't care what the grade is. And that's an eight. That's actually not bad. If these are like at least an eight, I'll take it. Flareon? Oh, yeah. See, I knew some of them had really bad like stuff going on with bending and those uh, blister things. But yo, like the artworks on these are too sick. Just to have them like this in a set. And I like you can't even see like if it gets a bend, it has a bend. A lot of times you can't even see it unless you like inspect it really closely. So like I'm I'm cool with that. You know I'm cool with that. Having all three of them. Let's go. We'll see them all next to each other. Jolteon. Ooh with the nine. So Flareon actually was holding us back a little bit. That's cool though. Like look at those artworks. You can't tell me that is some crazy good artworks. These are the Pop Series um, promo cards, I believe. Right, right. Number three out of seventeen. Yeah, I just remember I had them in like a. They all came in this like together in like a blister or something. I think. That is sick. All right, two more cards. So what are these gonna be? Oh, okay. Armando Holland Phantoms. Let's see what this is. A nine. Yo, that's pretty sick. Reverse, and the reverses on these are actually pretty much hollows. It just has like a stamp. And then our final card. Professor Elm's training method. The Dragon Frontiers Reverse. And it's a nine. All right, dude. I think we did pretty solid. I mean, I'm cool with a bunch of nines. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe on your way out. And I will see you on the next one. Only there was an easier way to get people to subscribe to the channel. I feel like I'm so close. Maybe I could just click the button. Oh, I can't do it. But you can by clicking the subscribe button and... Click the like button while you're at it. Oh, over there. Yeah, click that. I'll see you guys on the next one.